Hello everyone, when I logged in today and saw that we got a special seven day event, I said, oh, this is pretty cool. But then when I opened it and saw that we're going to have to purchase this new artifact, my thought quickly switched the other direction. If I wasn't going to make a video on this, then I would have quickly said, nope, not gonna purchase it. But I think I'm kind of happy that I did. I kind of like this. I'm not really 100% certain, but you see the green and red behind. I figured this would be a great way to add in the three crown abilities or ultimate crowns that we're gonna be getting with the fire and the plant. If you're seeing this as $7 on my screen, I was on the Canadian app store so I could go and download a game that wasn't available in the USA, but it looks like it's gonna be $5 USA even when I went and switched over i didn't reset the game so it shows seven but i only got charged five i'm gonna call this an a grade artifact because it doesn't have that linking of an s grade like the other ones we've already gotten besides the attack plus five percent and health plus five percent we can throw this on a plant snake and get an additional five percent attack for the skills like all the artifacts this is going to come with a fancy little snowflake theme but the big one that was kind of questioning to me is this whole healing pack thing I had to see what that was all about, and all it really is is when you go into any one of the boss stages, whether it's the final boss or the elites at 10 or 20, you're going to get a healing orb that's going to pop up right before you go into attack. So think of this as just a guaranteed way that you're going to be getting three extra healing orbs inside the game when you're running a chapter or in this situation, the hero trials. So as I said in the beginning of the video, we're going to be going over the new ultimate ability for the fire plant combination. And surprisingly, this is the only two abilities that require both of the new ones. Every other one's from the fire, the ice, and blah, blah, blah. They're all going to be one of the new abilities and one of the old, but this one needs a new plant and needs a new fire. We'll also be showing you the new ultimate crown abilities where you take your four star crown fire, combine it with this new three star plant, get one, and then on the vice versa, a four star crown plant one and take that with a new fire. So when we take the new three star fire with the new three star plant, you'll have the option to grab the flaming blade. And this one isn't gonna need any S grade snakes to get. And this is going to look like the three star new plant ability with a little bit of a fire edge on it. Damage wise, when I was at three stars, I was hitting for somewhere around like 760,000. And when I got this, it still showed the number for around like 760,000 or 780,000. But then there was these yellow numbers in the background that indicated like 2.6 million. If you are running S grades inside the game, you still can go and grab a crown ability and then take this to an ultimate crown. The same thing happened when I had this pop up and then I also had the crown ability pop up that just automatically converted it into the new ultimate crown ability for that S grade snake. Oh, and this ability too will leave a fire tech meaning that the enemy runs away and it was already hit with it, it will have a slow fire bleed. Now, when we have our S grade plant and we're able to get the crown ability, this is where this is going to turn into Hell Sickle. And this is my favorite out of all three of these crown and ultimate crown abilities, wherever you want to call them. I'm starting to get confused. But I was still seeing those numbers for around 760,000, but now I was seeing about 6.5 million for those yellow hits inside it. No pun intended, but I literally was mowing down the enemies with this one. It did mean that I had to get a little bit closer to the enemies on it, but it definitely seemed like this one was the strongest out of the three. When we go in with an S grade fire snake, this is where we're gonna get flames of verdict. If you saw the video from yesterday, you saw the whole hand grabbing up and burning the enemy. Well, now after that hand grabbing up, we're gonna have spinning blades around it. To me, it didn't seem as strong as the actual last one we just had, but it was one of those things where now I didn't have to get as close to the enemies to hit them. I did lose the whole swinging blades on my snake when I did this, but now I was seeing numbers of those yellows hitting for about 1.2 million. As I said, not as strong as the last one, but still, you got the distance, you don't have to get close right in, so I guess take it how you want to see it. I wasn't getting any green numbers from my actual 3 star ability when I ran through the fire snake, so it was a little bit tough to see actually what the damage was doing, but it just felt like the second one I showed you there was the pretty much the one that was going to do the most. But curious to know what you guys think of these new abilities. If you want to see just the plain old four star crown abilities for all five of these new abilities, check out this video right up over here. Thanks for watching and remember, I pick my butt.